The stormy weather from last night is gone, leaving behind a fall-feeling air mass, but another soaker could be in the five-day forecast. All that and more on BP Weather right now today. Hey there everyone on this Tuesday afternoon. Last night's stormy weather is gone. The sun has popped out outside. We saw about a half inch of rain from those showers and storms that moved through. It gave us a nice drink, which I guess we could have needed. However, we might be getting more in terms of rainfall because late this week we are going to be watching two areas of low pressure come together. One centered over the Great Lakes by late tomorrow into Thursday and another one coming up the coast from the south. Where these two interact means everything for our late week forecast. If these two come together in a, at a close enough proximity to our region at the right time, we could be talking about one good coastal storm for late this week with rain, gusty winds out of the north, northeast, and chilly temperatures. We would be talking about a really raw, damp Thursday, Friday time period. However, if these two form a little bit farther off toward the north, then New England would get in on the worst of this system. Uh, just be aware that uh, later this week we, we could be talking about another soaker in terms of rain. It does look like we're going to see rain. It's just a matter of who would get the most, if the most would fall to our north and east or if it would be toward our region. But here's future weather. In any case, the very latest guidance that I can show you tomorrow looks like a great day. High pressure will be anchored right over us with plenty of sunshine and pretty comfortable temperatures. Then by late tomorrow into Thursday morning, moisture begins to gather to our west and south. And by Thursday morning, in time for the rush hour, some showers could be on the approach from the west and the south. By Thursday afternoon, though, <clears throat> these two storm systems begin to uh, intermingle, and then we could be getting in on some of that more moderate rain. Thursday night, looks like we could be talking about moderate to heavy rain, at least according to this computer model, and then by Friday, the storm system really winds up toward New England. We're left with showers and wind for the day Friday. Uh, not all models are in agreement, so we're really going to have to narrow down uh, again exact timing on the rain and the rain totals and when it would get out of here. What we do know is that we are going to see some sort of rain and that we will be seeing the wind as well. But in any case, for tonight, the skies will continue to clear out. We will be talking about a colder night, lows ranging from 37 to 41 with a wind out of the west. During the day tomorrow, enjoy the sunshine that we will be seeing because it's our one day break from the kind of gloomy weather. Uh, between yesterday afternoon and today. 62 to 66 will be the range on the high side with a northwest wind at 10 to 15 miles an hour. And on the exclusive BP Weather 5-day forecast, rain and wind will develop on Thursday. The high will be 58. That's not going to be feeling too good. Friday, the wind continues. We'll still be seeing showers. 57. Saturday, we'll begin to clear it out. The high 61. Overnight, will be in the 30s. And by Sunday, it'll be cool, but it will be nice. High temperature will be 63 degrees, and that is a look at the five-day forecast.